Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 186. I'm a little bit tired. It's my day off and hopefully I'm able to read. I've been kind of stuttering quite a bit, so bear with me guys. All right. The Western Empire. After the commotion over the attack, Henry tightened security and for a while I had guards at my side wherever I went. You said there was something important we needed to discuss. What is it? Well, um, the Eastern Empire has asked if you could attend court. Court? Why? They need you to testify about your check being misappropriated. Oh, that is indeed a matter for the courts. But do I really need to see her? At her weakest? I'll need to think about it. Your Majesty, how much longer are you going to sit here idling? Oh, my queen! I've also been requested to go to court. They want my testimony for the report that I was written before I was banished from the Empire. Then the misunderstanding that Neon gave birth scandalously early will be put to rest. Yes, I'll definitely be in attendance so I can watch that woman's downfall with my own eyes. If you decide to attend, I'll escort you there. After conversing with Viscount Landre, I told Henry that I would attend without testifying. Both Henry and my parents chose to come with me. My father needs to check on the estate, so only my mother will accompany me to court. My queen, do you remember this road? Huh? Oh, this is... It's where we rode together on our one horse when we left the Eastern Empire. Oh. Sometimes I think about that time. I don't think I'll ever forget it. The same goes for me. But if I agree now, he'll tease me, asking if it's so unforgettable because I was in his arms. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I'll never forget how I escaped the Empire, squashed into that carriage seat. <laughs> yes, that too. I was uncomfortable and anxious because we could get caught at any moment. But that escape was filled with hope. Henry held me warmly. And we traveled, traveled one path with our bodies pressed together. I wouldn't want to experience it again, but it is a good memory. Shall we, shall we go horse riding together when our child is born? It will be fun. Yes, that does sound fun. Click, 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 click. The Remarried Empress, episode 186. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire. Oh, no, this is all wrong. Be my Empress for a year, and I promise you that I'll take care of you for the rest of your life. It was a bastard, so Beishu who proposed marriage first. Marsha and G Gilmut, Ishka. It, it was Duguri who brought you to me. Lutetia, you rotten bastard. Death will be too kind for what you've done. Uh, I've never initiated anything myself. I only did what they told me to do. That's all I did. She broke everything in her room. Lutetia <laughs> was always awful, but I really liked the Ishkas. I even wish they were my real parents. Why? Why did everyone betray me? Why has no one stayed by my side? Why? Why is everyone so cruel to me? You dastardly bastard! Hang him at once! 
What about the Empress? The Empress should stand trial too. <gasps> Same thing is going to happen to me if I stand trial. <gasps> oh, general insults and trash. Escape. I need to escape. How is Her Majesty? Hmm. Baron Latte! Baron Latte! Your, your Majesty. I, I'm scared. I'm so, so, so scared. Everyone is trying to use me as a scapegoat. I'm going to be killed at this rate. Your Majesty. Save me. Help me run away. I'll help you escape the capital, but that's all. I can distract the knights. Huh? Come out to the back road on the western side, wearing a cloak to hide your valuables and appearance. <sighs> huh? It'd only be worse if you run, your majesty. Please face us head on. It's better to pay for the things you've done wrong and defend yourself against any false accusation. You... You're only saying that because you've never been in court. You don't know how angry people get or how scary they can be. Then I'll pretend I saw nothing. Please hurry. Please. Thank you. Hold on. She didn't do anything when the maids were mean to me. It's strange that she would help me now. It's obvious that she's... She'll wrap me out to his majesty after pretending to help me. In that case. No way. I prepared this carriage for you a few days ago. To defend it against attacks, most carriages don't have hollow seats. So the soldiers won't suspect a thing. I know it'll be uncomfortable, but you only need to endure it for a little while. Click, 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 click. How long has it been? Are we not out of the capital yet? I might not be able to get a new identity where I end up, but I should be able to buy a small house by selling my jewels. If I plant a little garden and sell the things I've harvested, What's going on? Whoa. Oh. Did the carriage flip over? What's happening? Oh. There's no one in the carriage, you say. Then you don't mind if we stab the carriage with a la lance, do you? Uh, no. No. Uh. Oh. oh. Get me out of here. I'm inside. Get me out. Oh. Uh, you, you're... <gasps> I've been waiting for this day ever since I lost my wife because of you. Oh my gosh. Look at the sadistic look. She got captured. And who knows what's going to happen. She's going to get tormented. <sighs> but okay. First of all, we have I have to recap or remember all the people that she did dirty. I well right, I remember the maid who lost her tongue. And that was like the sister of the reporter or the journalist. He, she did a lot. It's just... Wow, Rashta. You're now in the hands of the people who you inflicted pain on or taken loved ones from. Dude, it's gonna get dark. I don't know. Obviously, I do not use the fast pass to read ahead and record because I'm not allowed. And plus, they don't let you anyways. Um... But I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. Oh my gosh, Rasha. You idiot. Why can't you just live a normal life? Like, just don't get yourself into mess. Now look at this.
All right, guys, so if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all felt reading this. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!